continuing with our Halloween theme, we're talking Halloween candy today. So go ahead and grab a bag of your favorite treats and settle in for another episode of Podcast Demastered. Hey listeners, welcome to another episode of the podcast. I'm your host, Ethan Meyer, and I'm joined by my two very good friends, Wade and Chelsea. Hey. And as you are already aware, we're going to be talking a lot about candy today. Um, fictional candy, <laughs> candy and film and TV. We're going to be doing some overrated, underrated. Um, we got a lot. We got a lot of a lot of categories and topics that we're going to be discussing. Uh, a lot of a lot of sugar talk. So, but before before we kind of dive into all the uh, the categories, um, I kind of just want to throw it to you two um, and kind of just talk about like trick or treating from like when we were kids. Um, if you guys, uh, yeah, I'm assuming you both went trick or treating, yes? Yeah. Yes. Um, oh, yeah. What was it like for you know? Tell me what your like uh, your normal trick or treating experience was like. Um, well, it typically just very exciting. Um, I always I spent a lot of time moving around as a child. Like we moved every year or so. Um, so every Halloween season, I kind of had like a new neighborhood to go around in, um, which mm-hmm. was that was great you know i always had lots of friends with me um very very rarely i remember going like with my family i tended to go with my friends i think um yeah and we would just pile in the candy uh there's usually like a sleepover or something involved afterwards and we would like trade and stuff like that did you guys did you guys have uh candy like uh bags or did you use a pillowcase i was very much a pillowcase kid I had a, I always had like a, like a bucket, like with the typical kind oh, of. Oh yeah, yeah, like a, yeah. like a jack o' lantern bucket or like mm-hmm. a little cauldron or something. <laughs> mm-hmm. No nah, man, that's mm-hmm. ro- that's rookie shit. That you can't you can't hold as much candy <laughs> in that. Uh, I was not allowed <laughs> to use the pillowcases for those kinds of things. <laughs> yeah, I started out with the plastic, yeah, like classic, like uh, buckets and stuff. But then I don't know if it was like Coles or somebody they made these like special like plastic bags that were like really big bags like that had like different levels on it so you would always like when it like this is like you're doing really well getting like this amount of candy so we would always try to see how full we could fill our bag because there's (laughs) like you know like a grading scale for your trick (laughs) yes (laughs) (laughs) like oh those are over here those are rookie numbers chelsea you got to hit about 40 more houses Mm -hmm. yeah pretty much that's how it was i I went trick or treating, yeah, when I was younger, and I went with my family, with my sisters and stuff. And my mom was really big into uh, making our Halloween costumes. She would sew yeah, them same. all for like, I don't know, ten plus years. And so we, of course, so I have two younger sisters, and some of our costumes would be themed to all match oh, each other. Oh wow, that's awesome! Yeah, I don't think I ever did themed costumes. <laughs> Yeah. And, like, my parents would sometimes have costumes, too. Like, I think one time we did, like, the 50s with, like, poodle skirts and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> one year, I was dressed up as Uncle Sam, and one of my sisters was the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> what? That's pretty cool. Yep. <laughs> they, were, they were pretty awesome costumes. Yeah, my mom made those, and there's so many costumes. It was every year. <laughs> what was your favorite costume? Oh gosh, I don't even remember half of them to be honest. Oh, oh we'll come back to that. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I don't know, I don't know. My mom did a great job sewing them all. Wait, did you did fun. you have a did you have a favorite costume? I'm trying to think of a favorite. I I can remember like notable ones, yeah. but I don't remember if I ever had a favorite. Um, I remember a year that I went as a ninja. Oh, that nice. was a big thing. Uh, one year I was Harry Potter. I think that was fourth grade. I was Harry Potter. Nice. Um, well, one year I went as a hobo. <laughs> <laughs> I was staying with one of my sisters, um, and I didn't have a costume yet. Um, so she's like, it's okay. So she, like, went to her closet and got, like, pulled out all of these clothes, and we kind of, like, roughed them up a lot. Like, she tore some, and we did all sorts of things. And I, you know, it was just, like, your classic, like, Disney hobo with, yeah. like, a like a stick with a little bag on the end of it, you know, like... <laughs> <laughs> that was did you have like one of those uh 
those like bottles, like those like clay bottles that has like the three X's on it or whatever. I did not have that. No, <laughs> <laughs> I should have. Dang it. <laughs> yeah, my uh, I had an older an older sibling. My sister, she's five years older than me, so we would go, uh, like I would either trick or treat with her. And then, or like I, like you said, I would go with like friends. I never really went, like when I was really young, like my mom would be out there for chaperone for a little bit. But I feel like after a certain time, like maybe like eight, nine, something like that, it was kind of just kind of, we almost had like a cul-de-sac neighborhood and every, every house had kids. So you all kind of knew everybody already. So it's just kind of like, you know, streetlights are on, go, you know come back whenever you're when you're tired or done or can't carry your pillowcase of candy anymore <laughs> so and my sister would always stay out like an hour or two later than me you know i would always like i'd always call it quits and be like all right this pillowcase is half full i'm getting tired i want to go home i don't want to start eating this stuff and my sister would like go to like the yuppie neighborhoods and get like the you know the really good <laughs> stuff but yeah like nice. uh my mom would make our costumes at least when we were younger like, I remember going as, like, a skeleton and, like, a devil. And uh, one year I went as a Civil War, like, a Civil War soldier. But I was, like, I was, like, dead or whatever. Because I remember having, like, bandages all over <laughs> myself. Um, I went as, like, a hula dancer one year. Like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, that may be one of the most uh, memorable ones. <laughs> That's kind of awesome. Yeah, yeah. So. But, yeah, I remember, well, like. I loved having the self-contained neighborhood because, uh, like I said, since we already knew all these kids, it was just like chaos, like kids just running around, you know, getting candy, and every all the houses would, like, decorate to the nines, you know, have, like, uh, people would sit out, they'd have, like, haunted garages or, or whatever, you know, it was like, uh, it was almost had, like, a, like a theme park atmosphere, you know, it was, it was pretty mm-hmm. cool, like, I really, really enjoyed Halloween as a child. What were you going to say, Chelsea? Yeah. Oh, I was going to say, well, here's a big question. When did you guys stop trick-or-treating? <laughs> <laughs> um, I started, I think my last my last year, I want to say was maybe my freshman year of high school. Because we still looked kind of like little kids. Um, <laughs> and I remember going with, with a good friend at the time. And, we're, and we made, like, wizard costumes, like like very cartoony wizard costumes with cloaks and everything and we were like uh if we stay hidden under our like big hats or something like we can we can do one more year (laughs) and we did it it was it was beautiful we went like we walked around like the entire town it was ridiculous i had a uh, i had like a forced retirement because when i was (laughs) i want to say it was like either it was like seventh or eighth grade so whatever whatever age that was we uh moved out of that nice little cul-de-sac out into like the sticks out in the country so it was just like our house on top of this hill and then there was really like no one else mm-hmm. like we were we, ha- we didn't really have neighbors trick-or-treating didn't really exist because you didn't have it there wasn't like suburbs it was just farmland <laughs> so mm-hmm. and we weren't gonna you know parents weren't gonna drive us into town and just like you know Trick or treat, so it was pretty much pretty much a done deal once uh I got once we moved to the country, so but it was I guess it was kind of like probably within like one more year would have stopped anyways, but yeah, but yeah that was pretty much for me uh, for me yeah. For for me, I'd like to joke. Um, last year was the last year I went trick or treating. What? But <laughs> what? So I'll ex- no. Okay, so last I don't year. Think an explanation is. Um, I think I'm fine. Oh no! Yeah, I'm definitely almost, an explanation. So I'm almost envious. <laughs> so. Yeah, no, it's actually really awesome. But so Mars Wrigley, the company, last year they made an app called Treat Town because they were like, you know, you know, the pandemic's really going strong and everything. You know, we should, you know, probably encourage kids not to really go door to door getting people's candy and stuff. So they're like, here, let's make an app where you can like virtually trick or treat. So first of all, I was like, free candy and app. That's awesome. Also, there was no age limit on this app. So what? This is like Pokemon like, Go, yes, let me but sign for up. like candy. Yeah, except you don't have to leave your home. <laughs> 
I guess now, I guess with Pokemon Go, I guess you don't have to leave either now, but I don't know. Um, yeah, so it was just, like, an app so people could choose to, like, you know, have, like, a virtual door and stuff where they could, um, pay credits and have people, like, get candy, like, once a day or something like that, and so it had, like, all across the U.S., like, people's little, like, doors that they, like, virtual doors they decorated and stuff, and I just literally went on the map, like, every single day in October and, like, clicked the doors, like, rang their doorbells to see if they were giving away candy. Um, so then you got, like, different credits at the end that you could uh, trade in and, like, get actual bags of, like, the Mars candy and stuff. I got $50 worth of free candy. Dang. Are they doing that again? <laughs> no, <Seriously>? unfortunately not. <laughs> okay. They, so, par- they probably, I, like, they looked at their books at the end of that, and they're like, oh, we fucked up. <laughs> 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 we gave away yeah. an entire year's worth of candy. <laughs> yeah, because I didn't have to pay for that app. I was like, uh-uh. I was just like, I'm just going to ring everybody's doorbells all over and stuff, and then got it. But So that's what I'd like to say. I stopped trick-or-treating last year, but realistically, it was like 7th or 8th grade. <laughs> yeah. I feel like that's kind of the... Uh, the the normal time period is like right when you're getting into like junior high you know like or like high school mm-hmm. is like because you feel like you're too cool for it you know you got to put on you got to put on airs for it so what is the my uh, mom also said i shouldn't like uh trick-or-treat anymore so oh pff, rules <laughs> <laughs> yeah well i mean you know i didn't want to be the awkward old person getting the candy so I still, like, I have a fairly youthful face, so I feel like I could probably still trick-or-treat now. I'm also, like, very short, so I feel like I, <laughs> I've, see, I've seen kids. I've seen kids nowadays. I've seen middle schooler kids. They're mm-hmm. about my size. I can pull it off. I feel like I, I can probably get big sometimes, for sure. Yeah, right? Crazy. Um, what about some of, the, what's some of the weirdest stuff you guys ever got trick-or-treating? Uh, I always hated the damn popcorn balls. Right? Yes. Yes. Uh, 100%. Popcorn balls are the worst. It's like the equivalent of getting a rock in, like, Charlie Brown. You know, they're all... I got a rock. (laughs) It's like, I got a popcorn ball. You just, like, throw it in their yard. Seriously, it's like, this is useless. Yeah. But I also got things like, uh, like, pretzels or pencils. Oh, yeah. I got those, too, and I was just like, what? What? No. Get that did out you here. ever have? Did you ever have the house that was giving out like toothbrushes or whatever? Like they were trying to be like, oh, you know, make sure you take care, of dental hygiene. I don't think so. I <laughs> yeah. don't think no, so. I had like those had little, that. those little like tiny, you know, those little like kid toothbrushes that are like individually wrapped. Mm-hmm. They'd like give those away or like dental floss or something. Like, come on, don't be cute. Give me some fucking candy. Like, I don't. Yeah. I'll worry this about the consequences. Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm seven years old. I don't worry about consequences, all right? I don't care about this. <laughs> well, and they also give out, like, the party favors. Like, you get those, like, little skull rings or the spider rings and oh, stuff. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. like, I want candy. Yeah, as long as it comes yeah. with candy, those were fine. Yeah, if you popped open the ball That's and there true. was, like, a Tootsie Roll in there or something and a skull ring, then we, you know, we're fine. You know? But, yeah, the, the trinkets and stuff were annoying. Anything you couldn't eat immediately was, like, annoying. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> there were times I got there were times I got bags of popcorn, like the mm. microwavable kind. They just like yeah. toss those in there, and yeah, I was like, yeah. "Hey, I can do that's that's okay. That's yeah. what we we ate plenty yeah, of popcorn." So, I had there was one house on our uh, in our block that uh, it was always kind of like it was known as like kind of the creepy house. It was just kind of like <laughs> it's kind of you know it was kind of like mm. not really run down, but it wasn't really well taken care of, and it was like poorly lit and had creepy trees and. <laughs> All that stuff, and most people wouldn't <laughs> trick or treat there. But they had a, you know, they had a light on. They didn't. They never decorated for Halloween. But we, you know, Universal sign. You have the porch light on. You're giving away candy, right? Yeah. So yep. when I was old enough and brave enough to go to this house, I like rang their doorbell, and it was like this little old lady that came out, and she gave me just like like it was like homemade candy. <laughs> it was just like it, like wow. you could tell it was like unmarked. It was, like, something that she just, like, wrapped herself in, like, saran wrap or something. And it was, like, a hard candy. And just dropped it in my bag. And I'm just like, yeah, I'm not eating this shit. Like, she probably made this in her bathtub. I'm like, I don't know what this is. <laughs> like, this is creepy stuff. It seems stuff. sweet, but, yeah, very sketchy. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm sure in her mind, she's like, oh, I'll make candy. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, nah, nah, yeah. nah I ain't doing All right, this. We knew, we knew better than that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yep. I'm not doing this. I'm not about this. Um... What about, like, some of the, uh, let's talk 
underrated Halloween candy? What's some candy that you guys feel is like soup that's like incredibly underrated? Um, I always liked getting suckers, like blow pops and tootsie pops. Oh um, hell yeah! But dude. but my friends were always like, I don't like no, those are stupid. And I was like, okay, give them to me then. Yeah, I love <laughs> any kind, like even like the dum dums, like the ones you get at like a bank. Mm-hmm. Like even those suckers are fine <laughs> for like, sure. I'm pretty much I'm pretty much okay with most suckers. Chelsea, yeah, I'm not a big fan. Like... I would give those to my sisters. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Uh, you're one of those no. people. You're, yeah, you're one of them. <laughs> oh, I am. <laughs> Wade and I are a couple of suckers. <laughs> I'm a candy purist. I, want, I have very particular with what kind yes. of candy I like. <laughs> I always felt uh, I like York peppermint patties were also underrated. Like I, oh, yeah. Those are really good. I love mm-hmm. York peppermint patties. I feel like it's just like maybe it's like the, the wrapping on them made them look like they were for like senior citizens. You know, they're like they're like the size of like a Reese's cup, but they have like silver and like flourished like writing. They just look too they don't look like Halloween candy. They look like something that is given out at like reception, you know, like Yeah. But I loved yeah. York peppermint patties. Also another one of my underrated feel like... ones is uh Oh go ahead. Oh, no, I was just saying, but I feel like uh, the York peppermint patties have kind of become more of a Halloween thing because they've actually done, like, certain packaging now that, like, oh, yeah, has it's more Halloween. Yeah. yeah, it's definitely a packaging issue. <laughs> it's yeah. def- they they <laughs> I think should've... they have shapes of them now, too. What? Really? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if it's, like, a bat shape or something. Yeah, it's definitely one of those candies they're, that they're trying to follow has, like, a like Halloween the, shape to it. They're trying to, like, emulate, like, the Reese's that have, like, you know, like, Reese's mm-hmm. trees and Reese's eggs and Reese's, yeah. that, you know, they're trying to, which is smart. I was, another one of, uh, underrated for me was, uh, uh, Warheads. Uh, oh, no, thank God. you. Dude, I absolutely loved Warheads. I even I had, like. jam as a child. <laughs> yeah, I love, 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 love Warheads. And, like, the lemon one, when I was younger, I couldn't really handle the like tart sourness of it but i had a trick i would like put it in my mouth just enough to get it wet and i would take it out and put it back in the package and let it sit for like five ten minutes and that saliva would like take away all the like sourness so when you put it back in your mouth it was just like a sweet lemon <laughs> wow yeah how odd <laughs> problem solving <laughs> i guess I would just suck on it the whole time. I don't know. I enjoyed that. It was only it was only the lemon one. It was only the lemon one I couldn't handle. But the rest, like, oh, I loved them. Yeah. I'd still eat warheads. Yeah. I don't like the lemon ones. It's because I really don't like lemon things, so I just yeah. would avoid those. And, yeah, like, yeah, the yeah. green or the blue ones. Those are ones I Oh, liked. yeah, green, blue. The, uh, the blue one's, like, the most sour. The blue raspberry? That's what I always heard, yeah. <laughs> It tastes the best. It definitely it's tastes like, the best. The yeah, yeah, for sure. Or like the what is it? Is it black cherry or black raspberry? Like the darker package one. I think it's black cherry. Yeah, yeah. that was like one of my favorites. I love black cherry most things. <laughs> um, yes. what else you I'd guys got for underrated? An underrated one. Oh, underrated chocolate. I would be midnight Milky Way. Is underrated? Oh yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Midnight, Midnight's yeah. the best Milky Way. Yeah, like that's a hundred. I love Milky Way in Milky general. Way. Yeah, <laughs> but it's definitely yeah underrated. It's delicious. Yeah. I I prefer the Midnight Milky Way over the normal Milky Way. Like I think the dark chocolate makes it just gives it like that uh that edge. I think it mm-hmm. you know because it's already yeah. it's, it's already like too. It's, since it's basically just caramel, it's already so sweet. So you need that dark chocolate to kind of counter that, you know. There's nothing else, you know. Like a Snickers has like peanuts and all this other shit that like make it crunchy or whatever. And there's a bunch of different textures, but Milky Way is just, you know, <laughs> it's <just> soft. It's deliciously <laughs> sweet. It's it's good. It's, it's, yeah, I like it's almost too kinds. sweet. The normal one. It's almost too sweet. Ah, uh, no, that's yeah. not too sweet for me. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Wait, you got any more underrated? Underrated? No, not really. Not really. All candy is aptly rated. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. What about overrated? What do you guys got for overrated? Butterfingers. Tootsie Rolls. 
Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Butterfingers? I said, <laughs> I said it. I said it. No! Podcast is over. Podcast is over. No. <laughs> Get out of here. No, what? Chelsea takes back Tootsie Rolls and I'll take back Butterfingers. <laughs> I'll never take back Tootsie Rolls. Those are the most overrated well, candy ever. That's what like people buy bags of and they just put handfuls when you were going trick-or-treating. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not I, eating all that. I was literally at the local uh, homecoming parade. And yeah, that's what everyone throws out. It's just like handfuls mm-hmm. of like Tootsie Rolls. So I'm just oh like, yeah, I mean they're is, cheap as heck. Just yeah, they're cheap. cheap. Yeah. You can just buy a foul, you know, ten pound bag for like four dollars. Mm-hmm. But they, I mean, they taste good though. You know, they're good to eat. But yeah, they're. Yeah. I feel like it's like a ch- it, if you go to a house and they just give you Tootsie Rolls, especially the houses that just give you one. Now that's oh, those are gosh. those are monsters. That's cruel. Yeah, yeah those are the <laughs> yeah. those are the cheap houses. You just, like uh uh-uh, uh handful, sir. Please. Yeah, if you're gonna give me just tits, yeah. tootsie rolls, I have to at least get out. Like, let me scoop with my like a cup. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. But I, I like. Okay, I like, Wade. We need to talk about your butterfinger. <laughs> yeah, man. What, what the hell? Um, man? I mean, it's, it's it's pretty simple. Butterfingers in general, they annoy me. Um, because they get stuck <laughs> in your teeth. <laughs> Like, I can I like Butterfinger stuff, but like actual Butterfinger bars take me like a long time to eat. Just like, put it in your mouth and let it dissolve. Don't even. Um, just don't even has, eat it. Who has time for that? Just consider it's like a jawbreaker, but for, like, a, like a chocolate jawbreaker. Oh gosh! No, absolutely not. See, this is well, very much like about... a. Oh. I was going to say, this is very much like a Same. 90s thing, but like Butterfinger BBs. Did you like those? Um, yes, I did. Absolutely. Yeah, Butterfinger BBs. Those are okay. I love Butterfinger. If you got like the and little fun size Halloween Butterfinger BBs, like, mm. those are really I like the, uh, the Simpsons commercials that came with them, too. Yeah, 100%. 100%. Yeah, I love Butterfingers. So, I still like Butterfingers. Yeah. But there's like, it's like a controversial thing with the Butterfingers now because they changed the recipe. Yeah, so they, they do are. taste different. They do taste oh, different. I didn't they do know that. taste different. Yeah, it's like a different butter. <laughs> different. Yeah, it's like, like it's not quite as good. Like they're still good, but it's like vegan butter now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I uh, I have a controversial, overrated one that okay. I feel like I may have to explain myself on. <laughs> but okay. Uh, it's kind of like an all-encompassing. It's not necessarily just like a specific brand. It's just uh, whole candy bars. <laughs> Why? When someone gives when someone gives out a whole like a full size whole candy bar, like I feel like immediately you think that's really awesome. But like I consider like trick or treating kind of like going to like a buffet. I want just like a bunch of just like small bite size, like so I can kind of. Uh, you know, taste around all the different flavors and textures and whatnot. And when someone gives me a whole candy bar, it's like someone giving me like a meal during my buffet. It just screw it just screws everything <laughs> up. You know, like I'd rather have a handful of bite sized Snickers or something than someone giving me a whole Snickers. Because if I eat a whole Snickers, then I'm done eating candy for the night because I just ate a whole fucking Snickers and I'm not hungry anymore. So I think you're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it makes sense. <laughs> no, I, just, I, I understand I just... where you're coming from. I, <laughs> I respect it. No, no, I don't agree no, with it because I like to eat the same don't, thing. Don't like... justify and defend that. Uh-uh. <laughs> we don't do that here. No, I said I respect his opinion. It doesn't mean I agree with it. <laughs> oh, no, we still don't. Need I can. To do that either. Yeah, I mean, at least meeting me halfway. That's. <laughs> I feel like uh, surface. I feel like I'll surface, meet you halfway. Apparently, he won't. No, I, I won't. feel like on the surface, everyone thinks that whole candy bars are best, but like I like getting back from trick or treating, dumping my pillowcase out on my bed, and just kind of like little, fun size, bite sized bits of all kinds of different types of candy. And if there's like whole candy bars mixed in there, I feel like I have to like I, I end up saving that for later, and then almost later never comes because by the time I get done eating my smorgasbord of Halloween candy, I'm like don't eat candy for another year so i don't know just don't like the whole giving me a full candy bar just not about it i guess i just like eating a lot of candy i don't know because i would just eat a lot of it at once i'm not sure i didn't have a problem with that i mean i like not that i really a lot of it. i like eating a lot at once but i like eating a lot of a variety you know 
Yeah. Well, like it did everything you was everything you got like big. What do you mean? Like, like full did size? Did you get did you get all big candies? Did you get a lot of them. Oh no 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 no! no. I mean, uh, most of the time it was always just like people would buy like those uh, you know those stereotypical like uh, Halloween candy bags. It's just like a mixed up variety pack, yeah. mm-hmm. and just put it in a bowl, and you just would trick or treat, and you just grab a handful of whatever. So it's always just like individually wrapped stuff or. You know, like a thing of M&M's that had six M&M's in it or whatever. Like, <laughs> it was very seldom that you I would come to a house that would give out, like, whole candy bars. But, like, you know, as a kid, when I got it, I thought it was super cool. It's was like, oh, my God, this house is giving out, like, whole Twix or whole, her, you know, or whatever. But then when I get back, it's just like, I, I don't, like, I don't know, I don't eat it. Because I want, I'd rather have just an individual little, a little taste. It's like going to, like, a winery. You don't want to drink a whole bottle of wine. You just want to do the tasting, you know? <laughs> So. You eat you eat all the little sure. candy <laughs> and then you have the big candy for later. Like I don't, yeah. I don't understand. I don't yeah, understand. I mean, that's the thing. That's my. I guess that's kind of my thing. Is like I always save it for later, but then eventually with me later never like came. It would just kind of just sat around. Because by the time I got done eating all the small stuff, I didn't want to eat candy anymore. It would make me like sick. Mm. <laughs> so. Well, you can you can take mm. your unfortunate candy privilege problem somewhere else. <laughs> 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 He's scrounging in the streets for candy, and Ethan's like, "Oh, the big candy bars are just so inconvenient. <laughs> who who could do it? <laughs> it's inconvenient. <laughs> I guess that is the definition of like first world problems. Like, I uh, don't want whole <laughs> yeah. candy bars. <laughs> this is the real Halloween experience. What am I supposed to do with this? I don't know. I'll throw it away this year, I guess." <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> oh, that's painful, though. Yeah, don't. <laughs> <laughs> you really hurt Wade. You did. Well, this, uh, <laughs> if I ever get whole candy bars, Wade, I'll make sure I'll send them your way. I don't want you to feel deprived. <laughs> oh, no, I want Atlas to have them now. He needs that. That's what he needs. No, he's getting a real <laughs> Halloween experience. <laughs> Fun sized everything. <laughs> My I have a couple probably not I have not as controversial overrated candies. Um okay. sweet tarts. I think sweet tarts are overrated. Mm, okay. Hmm. Anytime it depends I on re- how many you get, I think. I feel like it never failed every year. I would always the you know as you're going along day after day after day, your candy pile is whittling, you know, getting lower and lower. And then it's just like a, it's, all you have left is like Smarties and Sweet Tarts and like Tootsie Rolls and all the shit that just kind of like falls to the bottom that you're just like, I don't really want right now. And then, I don't know, you just, and I, I also don't really like Sweet Tarts because I don't, I, they're like ch- kind of like chalky and they're more tart than sweet. And, mm-hmm. I don't know. By the time I got, to, by the time I got around to like, uh, those are like the left, like what was left, I usually just gave it away. <laughs> so <laughs> I'd be like, yeah, whatever. My, you know, my sister can have it, or I take it to school and give it to other kids. It's like I don't, I don't want this stuff. And it always, always like those like individual, like the. It was always just like a pack, you know. It was like two, you know. Like mm. there, it was just yeah. like two sweet tarts. <laughs> so. <laughs> And then another uh, another overrated one for me is nerds. I never liked oh, nerds. Yeah. Oh, I like nerds. Me neither. It's too bad. I hated like I hated like trying to chew them up because I feel like it was too hard. It was like gravel. And then if you would just like pour all in your mouth and just, like put the box in your mouth or whatever and just like swallow them all, it was just like, well, what was, what was the <laughs> what was the point of this? <laughs> it's like eating rocks with sugar on them. <laughs> so definitely definitely yeah. another candy that I would just pass along yeah not my thing either you guys got any more uh, overrated yeah I'm pretty I'm pretty down with most no. of them most <laughs> of them <laughs> yeah, most <laughs> most of them <laughs> um well, let's take a uh, let's take a sharp left turn here in our candy or candy discussion and let's talk about uh candy that's been like 
you know, like product placement, you know, uh, and film and TV and stuff. There's always like, uh, like early, you know, see like a, a typical like '80s film, and it was always like someone like taking a drink of like a Coke, and it's like perfectly turned to the camera. It says like Coca Cola <laughs> on it. And they take a real <laughs> long, slow drink of it. <laughs> you know, uh, what are some of the uh, like candy product placement or candy uses in uh, like film or TV that you guys can think of? Chelsea, you go first. Okay. Well, I think one of the most classic ones, you know, I think we talked about it a little bit, you know, earlier and stuff before we started recording was uh, Reese's Pieces and E.T. Yeah. Yeah. That's, uh, is that like, oh my gosh, I'm almost, I'm like blanking on like how he, how uh, the kid actually like, isn't he using them to like lure lure E.T. out yes. or something? Like yeah. lure him out of the shed or whatever? Yeah. Like a hands on mm-hmm. Gretel situation mm-hmm. almost? <laughs> yeah, and just like goes all the way, like yeah, the trail goes all like all the way up to his bedroom or something. I think. Yeah, yep. Um, sticking in that same kind of uh, uh, era of film, I go. I always uh, think back to uh, Baby Ruth in the Goonies. Yeah. Because that, like the little like uh, you know uh, what's his name Rocky. Like the isn't that his name? Like the like the monster Sl- guy or whatever. Like sloth. 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 Mm-hmm. Wait, who's Rocky then? Is Rocky the kid that has the weird face in that other film? Yes. We'll circle back to that. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. You are correct. You are correct. They both have weird faces. <laughs> either way. It's slot. Yeah, they always give him like a baby Ruth or whatever to like make him happy. <laughs> mm-hmm. Which is the chocolate. Which, you know, would it make me... I don't like baby Ruth, so that would be the wrong candy to give me if <laughs> if I was sloth. <laughs> <Same>. <laughs> What about, what about you? What do you got? Um, so um, I only knew of two, really, and you both took both of them, so. <laughs> <laughs> did, so did, uh, uh, there you go. <laughs> did either one of you guys, uh, this is like a this is like a famous like TV show and TV episode of this show, but did you guys, either one of you watch Seinfeld? Nope. No. There's like a whole episode dedicated to like, uh, it's, I think the episode is titled Junior Mint. Where oh, like, yeah. <laughs> it's like during like surgery and like Kramer like drops a junior mint into like because you know they're they're uh, they're up in like the you know the the rafters or whatever the nosebleeds like watching the surgery like one of those situations and he's like mm-hmm. eating junior mints and like drops a junior mint like into like the operating table. <laughs> oh, gosh. And what's funny is like like fun fact is uh they like the creators for the show and the writers producers or whatever like they went to like i think they wanted to use like m&ms but like the company m&m was like not down for (laughs) there's like it was like m&ms and like someone else that they were that they tried to like pitch the idea to for like the product placement like they both like declined they're like nah we're we're not about this so junior mint's like yeah hell yeah you could do that (laughs) that's the same for um et they were supposed to yeah it was m and the script and, yeah, and, and you guys Mars was like, out. no. Eminem is missing out on all they're these. Like, uh, no, no, no. <laughs> awesome. yeah. They're like, we got our commercials. We're fine. We got the talking Eminem guys <laughs> with, pulling their hijinks with Santa. We're good. We don't, <laughs> we don't need to be in this. Oh, classic Christmas commercials. Oh, my God. They still run those, and they're still in 4 Seriously, three, yeah. Which is hilarious. That's like a whole <laughs> podcast idea right there. Yeah. We got ourselves an episode there. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, <laughs> let's get nostalgic over commercials. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for real. <laughs> Let us yeah. know, viewers. Should we do that um, one? <laughs> oh man, I just thought of a nostalgic commercial for Pizza Hut. It's not candy, so we're not talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> get out! That's a tease. Get out! Get out, Pizza Hut. You know, you don't belong here. Well, we can talk about Pizza Hut placement. I mean, I'm a fan of Wayne's World. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> wait, back to candy. Oh wait, no. So. Back to candy. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, let's just call it rabbit hole, um, listeners. I don't apologize. Yeah. So back to the candy. So one of the terrorists in a Die Hard, like he's eating candy while he's like, I don't know, Being shooting his gun with one hand, eating candy in the other. I think it like he's either eating like a Crunch Bar or something or like a Mars Bar. Oh, sh- really? Dang, yeah, <laughs> just something random. A crunch bar. Yep. That's definitely like a middle of the something road like candy that. bar. <laughs> I like myself a mm-hmm. good crunch. 
I like Crush, but it's also like like not yeah. all the time. It's like if you're in a, oh, yeah, if I you're had one of those, it's, it's not top tier chocolate. Yeah, thing. if you're in like the checkout lane, that's like that's bottom shelf candy. You know. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. What about uh, what about fictional candy? Oh my god, I've been waiting forever. And also, oh. <laughs> there's I'm sure some of the stuff that we bring up. Because a lot of these, like, fictions are very popular, so whoever owns the IP, I'm sure they've made some bastard version of this already. But for this, we're going to just strictly stick to the one that actually exists in the fiction, not whatever. You know, like, a perfect example is, like, Wonka Bar. Like, Wonka Bar exists Mm. in, like, our world, but I don't care about that i want the like willy wonka wonka like bar within the, movie. the mo- within the <laughs> yeah universe. exactly within the one that their... people would spend millions of dollars on yeah exactly like i don't want the yeah. shitty like movie theater wonka bars or whatever it has like rice in it or toffee or whatever it is like no lame thank <laughs> no thank you <laughs> <laughs> so wait since you're super excited about it, i want you to go first um i've been waiting i've been waiting for forever and um i want i want i have always wanted like since i was a baby to try a reptar bar <laughs> from rugrats yeah you know because they're supposed to like turn your tongue green like did legit. they did they ever did they ever try and did anybody try and make a reptar bar for like yes they or freaking did did they i bought a bunch at no. um it was like one of those like fye stores like one of those kinds of stores oh yeah, yeah, yeah they were selling them and i bought they had them on clearance or something and i bought like a whole box um and like gave them to like a whole bunch of friends and they were just like your typical like milk chocolate bar um, yeah. and they were split up into like uh like little squares it went inside of each square was like this this green cream Oh, okay. Like a, um, uh, like an Andes, like an Andes bar, kind of. Yeah, something like that. Hmm. Um, and it did actually turn your tongue a little green. Nice. Yeah. There you go. So honestly, I remember watching Rugrats, and I don't remember <clears throat> Reptar bars at all. <laughs> so, but they sound amazing. <laughs> it was like the Reptar cereal, which also turns the milk. Oh yeah, I definitely I remember yes. Reptar cereal for some reason. I definitely remember the cereal. Chelsea, what about you? What do you got for a fictional candy you want to try? Well, so speaking of Rugrats, funny enough, so I tried, there's like another, I think it's a candy bar in the show. I really tried Googling this and I could barely find anything about it that, because there's this like weird commercial, like this is like one of the most like, like the one of the only things I really, really remember from Rugrats about like chocolate cheese bars or something That's and it was like this like, commercial that <laughs> yeah that like angelica was like watching or something it was like choco chocolate cheese or something and i've always like i've always wanted to know what the heck they were thinking when they decided to add that in the show and i'm like if this is like a candy bar chocolate and cheese those are like two of my most favorite things in the world but combined it has to be one of the weirdest nastiest things ever but something i would want to try now i have had chocolate cheese before um mm. there was a place in a uh there's a town right outside springfield missouri called ozark um and they have a like it's basically just a like amish cheese store and they have a whole wall mm. of like hundreds of different cheeses and like toothpicks and you just kind of walk up and you get to sample all the different cheeses and pick which ones you want to buy and they had a chocolate cheese there and uh it was not good so. <laughs> believe it or not <laughs> those two t- did not mix very well <laughs> it was like one of those imagine. it was like a really it was like a really soft cheese it was really creamy but then it had like this the, like the chocolate like sweetness to it but then it had like that that funk you know that, she, that certain cheeses <laughs> have and mm. i'm just like this is strange i don't this is weird <laughs> on my palate i don't like this <laughs> these things should not mix <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, while well, going away from Rugrats, I, um, the two things that immediately like, came into my mind for, like, fiction candy was, like, you mm-hmm. know, Willy Wonka and, and, and Harry mm-hmm. Potter. Uh, of course. Yes. <laughs> Those are, like, the two, mm-hmm. you know. So, which and Harry I, Potter candy would you want to try the most? Um, 
I really... It's kind of weird because I... I have... Okay, so I've been to Harry Potter land and world or whatever. So I've tried all their, like, you know, their attempts mm-hmm. at making the candy from the films or whatever. But when I watched the movie Sorcerer's Stone, I was always interested in the chocolate frogs. Even though yes. they're, like... Even though they're, like... You know, the spell makes them, like, seem, like, real. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I was always mm-hmm. kind of... I was always... Like, I wanted to know what they actually... Because I feel like it'd be kind of, like, weird to eat a frog that's, like, <laughs> wiggling around. And, yes. You know what I mean? Like, there's something kind of just strange about that. Like, how mm-hmm. deep does that spell go? Does it have some, like, frog taste to it? If it is it just straight milk chocolate? Like, what do we... You know? So it's more out of curiosity. I don't even know if I would like it. It's like- just... It's, <laughs> Once yeah. you take a bite out of the wriggling frog, does it like flop and die? Like die, <laughs> or does it suffer? <laughs> you have like this floppy chocolate oh, frog gosh. in your hand. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You bite off its uh, leg. Does its other leg just start like you know twitching and trying oh to my escape? God. Yeah, messed up. Because um, mm-hmm. like I thought about birdie bots. But, like, I don't like the idea. I have really bad luck. And I don't like the idea of getting, like, beans that taste like <laughs> dirt or ears wa- earwax or shit or whatever. Like, I'm not I'm not down for, like, gambling with my candy. Um, and there's other, there's other ones that are kind of, like, obscure. Like, uh, I don't know if it's really a candy, but they have those, uh, what is it, pumpkin, like, pumpkin pasties or pasties or whatever. That's essentially mm. just, like, it's more of, like, a pie. But it's just like mm-hmm. pumpkin. It's like a little tiny pumpkin pie, basically, instead yeah. of like a meat pie. <laughs> like that mm-hmm. sounds really good. They they always make those sound good too. Yeah. Yeah, but it's yeah. not like I guess it's, it's like that's in the gray area of like candy. It's on it's on the trolley, you know, the candy trolley. So I'll consider it a candy. <laughs> oh yeah. I <laughs> always wanted to. Uh, I always wanted to try fizzing whizbies. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, it's like, they're just oh, yeah. like. They're sherbet balls, like lemon balls, but they make you levitate. Yeah. Like, I want to try that. Let's do that. They also, just going by the name, makes it sound like there's, like, a, an aspect of, like, Pop Rocks in there. hmm <laughs> You know? For sure. Which is more of an experience and less of, like, mm-hmm. the candy, because Pop Rocks taste like shit. Right. But you just, like, the mm-hmm. thing it does in your mouth, you know? <laughs> What about you, Chelsea? Do you have any other ones we haven't mentioned from the Harry Potter universe you'd want to try? I feel like there's a lot, but yeah. they're so like obscure, I've... you won't even know what they would be. Yeah, I mean, definitely, I think it was definitely the chocolate frogs was always my, like, I yeah. really wanted to try them. And yeah, especially with those the enchantments on them. How weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was always more interested in the, you know, they say in the film, like, oh, you don't care about the candy. You want the trading cards. I'm like, no, I want that candy. Like, I want that frog. I want both. <laughs> like, yeah, catch the frog. <laughs> keep, keep the cards. They're all double doors anyway. Like, I don't care. <laughs> Every chocolate frog I ever bought at Harry Potter World, they were always double doors. I don't, I'm, I'm fairly certain none of them, no other exists, so. Um, really? I have, I have a non no. double door. Yeah, I do too. Here somewhere, yeah. I bought four chocolate yeah. frogs. Two different times I've gone to, because I went to <laughs> the Harry Potter when it was just the, you know, the castle side of the park mm-hmm. in Hogsmeade. And mm-hmm. then I went again, Wade, you were with me, mm-hmm. when we went to Diagon Alley, mm-hmm. got two more chocolate frogs, just fucking Dumbledores. I got four Dumbledores. I, I think I remember I you throwing a fit about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> over, a, over a pint of butterbeer. <laughs> I think I've got a, I think I got Snape, I think question oh, mark see, i don't now know that, now that's a good one that's a good one i'm trying to remember what i have but those chocolate frogs are freaking expensive i'm they like are, i could go yeah. on about everything. the price of their that, well, those are ridiculous like i i'm glad like if we lived in the harry potter universe though like i would be the guy who had a million stacks of the cards though because i'd ex- abs- i'd absolutely be collecting them <laughs> for sure yeah, for sure i, I, can I am that. not surprised at all yep <laughs> <laughs> What about the, do uh, you guys have any from the uh, from Willy Wonka that you'd want to try? Besides, like, the Wonka bar? Uh, I mean, the Everlasting Gobstopper, I guess. Because you could just, like, when you're done, you could take it out, and when you're ready for it again, you just put it back in your mouth. Yeah, I, I, the problem I have with that is I feel like I, I feel like I miss this on my overrated, but jawbreakers in general gross me out for that exact reason. <laughs> 
It's like, I remember my sister had a jawbreaker that was huge. It's like the size of, like, a tennis ball. Like, like the Ed, Ed, and Eddie ones? Yeah, and she'd be sucking on it for, like, a year, and she'd just uh-huh. put it on a napkin on, like, her, like, windowsill, and it would just Ew. sit there and, like, come back, suck on it a little bit, put it on the napkin, and I'm just like, this is fucking gross. <laughs> like, this thing's <laughs> just you, sitting here. When you put it that way, for sure. Like, if I'm thinking of, and the everlasting gobstoppers in the film are, like, really tiny, so you just got this thing rocking around in your mouth forever, you take it out, and you just put it in, like, a Ziploc <laughs> bag, and just, like, put it in your, like, your glove box in your car, <laughs> you know? It's just sitting there. You suck on it some more and you drive home from work. Like, that sounds gross. I don't yeah. want that at all. Any any more from I Willy Wonka? About, oh. One oh. of them I thought about, like, if it wasn't the prototype. I, I was kind of going back and forth about that, uh, the three-course, like, dinner chewing gum. Yeah. Like, that was the one I wanted. Yeah. The idea seems cool, but then it's, like, the taste. Like, you get to taste all those flavors, but then it'd be weird because it's, like, you don't get the texture of everything. It would be yeah. very confusing. Like, but I don't want to taste the steak, like, in try. the form of spit. Like, <laughs> I don't think I want... I don't think I want that. <laughs> I imagine it, like, future... Like, uh, you know, you think, like, uh, you watch, like, a sci-fi film and their food's in, like, pill form. Like, that's mm-hmm. what I imagine. Like, <laughs> so you're just, like... <laughs> you know, you're chewing up some, you know, some bacon mm-hmm. and eggs, and then you chew a little longer, and it's like a. Oh, that one's know, even like... worse somehow. Oh, uh. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, imagine like chewing gum, but it's just like scrambled eggs or like Stop. biscuits and gravy. Oh, Stop. yeah, no, <laughs> kind of ruined it now. <laughs> Disgusting. Here, oh, I've got a, I've got a really obscure one for for y'all. Yeah. Um, it's from an old old musical. Okay. Called Chitty okay. Chitty Bang Bang. Oh yeah, yep yep yep. And in mm-hmm. the movie, the dad of the movie, he's a uh, like an advent ad- inventor, I guess. Um, and he mm. creates he creates a a candy that's also a whistle, like um, a kazoo and, whistle. Yeah, something <laughs> like that. Kazoo, you like kazoo. just blow through it, and okay. it makes this cute little whistle sound. And they call them toot sweets. <laughs> <laughs> that's and better than sweet toots. They have a whole song about it. There's a whole song about it. It's it's a delight. I can see that being interesting. That's like uh, yeah. going back to uh, Wonka. That's like uh, the uh, wallpaper that you lick or whatever. <laughs> oh gosh, that sounds just <laughs> no. Like that's also going back to like yeah. the the jawbreaker thing. We're just, just sitting there licking the wall. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh gosh. Yeah, that'd be. I I I would do it once. You know. <laughs> And I'm like, all right, I'm done with this. I don't, mm-hmm. and I want to tell people when coming over. I don't want other. I don't want strangers or people or, you know, house guests we, licking all my walls because, the same, yeah, same because place. they, yeah, because they taste like you know Rocky Road ice cream or whatever. <laughs> like, uh. Don't definitely don't want any of that going on. Yeah. Um, moving on, let's do, <laughs> let's do worst Halloween candy. And wait, I wanna I wanna start with you on this one. Why? Since you're the one that doesn't like to rate anything. <laughs> you're, even, oh. That's that's called targeting. Since we sir. offend you. No. Um, yeah, that's okay, so targeting. my least it. my here I'll, I got you. My least favorite. I have I had three that I came up with. Okay. Um, the first one was Twizzlers. Because uh, just I'm just wow. not a big fan of licorice. Twizzlers in a big spot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just I'm not a. I mean, like I would if somebody gave me one, I'd eat it. Like, it's fine, but I'm not a big fan of licorice, really. I have a pack um, of Twizzlers in my pantry right now. I that doesn't shock, me. <laughs> doesn't shock <laughs> I me. I absolutely love. I don't like black licorice, or what licorice is actually supposed to taste like. <laughs> <laughs> I like Fair the enough. like. I like the super sugary sweet. You know cherry and strawberry and weird flavored like, oh. Twizzlers. Like, I, I do like I the cool like stuff. rainbow no. twirl, uh, pull apart ones. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. I like, like those the rainbow ones. because those also entertain me. Um, <laughs> otherwise, no, you keep your Twizzlers. It's fun food. It is. You're right. Um, and then I also have um, the flavored Tootsie Rolls. Like, what? No, thank you. Yeah, oh, no. Okay. No. no. Oh my god. Gosh. No, those are better than real Tootsie Rolls. No, they're not. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, 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 no. That you are fundamentally wrong in that area. 
Uh, well, not not to jump not to jump ahead, but those are on my favorite uh, Halloween candies. Well, you can, then I will I'll stay quiet Ooh. during that segment then. I thought we were friends. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, and here's the last one that I had. Um, I I don't I never liked eating them, but I liked to get them. Um, and that's anything with coconut in them, like the mounds bars and stuff. Oh, 100% with you on that because, one. I don't like coconut but, in anything. I, yeah, I don't care for coconut, but when I got them, I'd always give them to my mom, and that made her really, really happy. No. So I always liked seeing them in Aww. my bag, because I, because, well, the thing was, is that if, if I didn't get any of those, then she'd come creeping up and, like, stealing candy out of my bag. But if I came to her with a peace offering... Oh, okay. This is, um, so this is like hush candy. Fine. Kind of, yeah. But I also, candy. I also like giving, <laughs> like being able to share that with my mom too. So, yeah, the, I had that same relationship only with with it was my dad. Like he loves mounds and almond joy and the, all those terrible candies. So anytime I found those in my pile, I would just, you know, do do do. Here you go. You have all this nonsense. Don't want it. It was the worst. And so, what about you? I guess. I'm like, I, I, I do like coconut, um, but those were definitely not, like, the top of my list and stuff, so I would kind of eat them, but that would be after, like, if I would eat it first, and then I could enjoy the better stuff later. Oh, that, yeah, that's a smart, that's a smart way to handle that. To, like, get all the terrible yeah. stuff out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, I mean, there's definitely stuff I just wouldn't eat at all. Um, like, worst candy for me, I'll just say, anything that's not chocolate. <laughs> what? <laughs> No, Jesus. but I'll, I'll be more serious. Uh, no, I I love chocolate. I live and breathe chocolate. But no, the ultimate worst Halloween candy is candy corn. Uh, I hate that stuff so much. Shame. It is just. What if it's dipped in chocolate? Mm-mm. Ew, no. It's still candy <laughs> corn on the don't, inside. Don't, don't poison <laughs> it like that. Get out. Don't taint chocolate. <laughs> yeah, uh-uh. <laughs> Don't ruin chocolate by putting candy corn in it. Yeah. Honestly, I don't really have a problem with candy corn. Um, I feel like everyone shits on it, but in my experience trick-or-treating, I almost never got candy corn. I feel like it was something you always heard about. It was like this legend of like awful candy, but I've never, it had never like, <laughs> I guess no one bought it because everyone assumed everyone hates it. Mm-hmm. But the few mm-hmm. times that I've had it, I was like, yeah, it's all right. It's it, it kind of it's kind of like jelly beans for me, you know. They just like sit in a little glass dish at your at your grandparents' house, you know. You get a handful or whatever <laughs> in between, true. you know, before dinner, you know, that kind of candy. Like I've never, I don't know, never bought it, never really got it trick or treating. So I don't know. I feel like it gets a bad rap. <laughs> so. Well, it's because it's terrible. Yeah, that's why. It gets I mean, bad it rap. Yeah, it's just Indeed. it is kind of like eating wax. So, <laughs> so I guess. Yeah. I mean, I could be eating other delicious things instead, so it doesn't need to exist. <laughs> speaking of uh, speaking of uh, wax, one of my all-time least favorite ones was those wax soda bottles that you would get. You oh, ever get those? yeah. Mm-hmm. You'd have to, like, bite off the top, those. and it just had, like, this, like, goo in it, like, almost like a like, some, like gelatinous substance that you're supposed uh. to like, suck out. And it was basically just, like, corn syrup. <laughs> I, <laughs> frankly, I'd completely forgotten about those. Yeah, you just suck corn syrup out of a wax bottle. Don't like, like no thanks. <laughs> no, thank you. Uh-uh. Nope. Um, way the, the same reason why you uh, don't like Butterfingers is why I don't like uh, Sugar Daddies. I feel like Sugar Daddies, I would get that stuff stuck to the roof of my mouth for at least like mm-hmm. three days. It's kind of like like with Milk Duds, like this kind of the same. Oh yeah. Although yeah. although I love <laughs> myself some Milk Duds, I just. I can't let myself eat them anymore mm-hmm. just because I, I don't have a year to wait to eat them, you know? <laughs> See, I, I love... Like, I eat I them love. one at a time, and seriously, it's like a five-minute ordeal for one Milk Dud. Yeah. I love yeah. Milk Duds. Awesome. Yeah, I love it's like those little tiny boxes. There's like three in there. You definitely <laughs> yeah, eat it one yeah. at a time. It's 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 a rookie mistake to just throw a whole box in your mouth. But you it was so tempting. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I, lo- I love... I absolutely love Milk Duds. But yeah, they were... They were work. Sugar daddies, they didn't even taste good. So it was like work that wasn't worth it. So, mm-hmm. <laughs> um, I also didn't oh, like God. those. You guys ever get those? The I don't know if they have a real name, but I just knew it was like those peanut butter chews that just had like the orange wrappers and the black wrappers. 
Oh, remember that? yeah, remember that I do. I don't remember yeah, what I they're called either. Ew, no. I don't know if they have a name, but they should be the candy that shall not be named because they're t- <laughs> fucking terrible. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, Whoppers. I didn't like the little chocolate malt balls or whatever. Not a fan. Um, now and later's. Meh. They, kind of the same way as like mm-hmm. Gobstoppers. I feel like they take like f- four years to actually like, chew one of those things up, and it was it wasn't even like worth it. It was kind of like a it was like a worse Starburst. It was like a discount Starburst. I they're too hard. I was like I was yeah, always like ew really gross hard. why, really hard. Uh, yeah. Those uh, bit o honeys. You guys ever you remember those had like the yellow and red uh, ew, yeah. yeah, I don't think I really ever ate those. Oh uh, no. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Mary Jane's. Didn't like those either. They were kind of the... It's definitely like... If, I feel like it's like older candy. Like if you live in a neighborhood with a lot of mm. like an older generation, this is where you get your bit of honeys and your Mary Janes and your like Neko, <laughs> Neko wafers. And, oh, like, gross. Oh, yeah. Like those are essentially just like... <laughs> forgot about tums. those too. <laughs> oh, <laughs> those, are just like, those are just like antacids. <laughs> Damn it, Nabisco. So old school. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I got a lot of that stuff trick-or-treating, so... Those yeah. kind of candies. <laughs> Not a fan of uh, any of that stuff. Um, mm-hmm. Juju, what are the Juju fruits? Don't like those. Oh, either. the Jujubes. Uh, yeah, like dots, like those kinds of things. Oh, I dots. like I like dots, but Juju, I feel like uh, they tried to be like dots, but they were like. They're like not quite hard, but they're not quite soft, and they take forever. They're like now and later's, but smaller. And, mm. I don't know. Uh, they can both rot in hell for all I'm concerned. So, you don't like so, dots? <laughs> no, don't. It's it's just no. another one of those candies that just gets stuck in your teeth all the time. They're really chew. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I love dots. I love it. I it's essentially just like cornstarch, though. It's like cornstarch and like corn syrup, basically poured into like a mold. <laughs> so. Not Pass. worth my time. <laughs> Pass. <laughs> um, do you guys have anything else for your for like worst candies? I feel like there's... No. There's a lot. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot of just, like, weird, like, obscure ones, like those, like, marshmallow, uh, like, circus peanuts or whatever. Like, anything marshmallow, I'm not really a big fan um. of. Actually, going back to mm-hmm. overrated Three Musketeers, it's another kind of candy I'm not a big <laughs> fan of. I don't know if it's the worst. Just fluff. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's just fluff. It's like nothing. Yeah, <laughs> I understand. I understand that. They don't last very um, long. I never liked getting, uh, uh, what is it, those uh, uh, hot tamales or like Boston baked beans or like yeah. any of that kind of stuff. Anything no, that had like, you. candies had like cinnamon in them. I kind of like the hot tamales. <laughs> no, I don't like hot, I don't like hot tamales. Um, I don't like lemon heads. Like, mm, I was no. never, never a fan of lemon heads. Um. Yeah, I can't we'll really be here all night. Okay. <laughs> I, don't know, I can't really think of any any others, honestly. Yeah. They're like I was just trying to think of all the, like that candy that just sits in the bout and like sits in your Halloween bucket or pile for like weeks, and you're just like, I don't know what to do with this shit. The but dollar totally. store off brand. Yeah, exactly. Candy. Yeah. That's why yeah, I didn't yeah. either. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, let's move on to the final topic here. Our the, be- the best Halloween candy, our personal favorites. Uh, I've already given away two of mine, Dots and Flavored Tootsie Rolls, so you guys can rot in hell what? for, for those. For no. no, sir. No, no. I, I feel no. like I'm the... I feel like You're I'm in the, a wrong universe. I feel like I'm the exact opposite of you, Chelsea. I prefer anything that's, like, not chocolate. <laughs> so I love, like, gummy stuff and, like, hard candies oh, no. and, like, stuff like that. Cho- like I like chocolate, uh, you know, but it's just, I don't know. I feel like I can get candy bars and shit like that year round. And at Halloween candy, there's just like a certain type that you only get around like Halloween, you know. Or if you, you know, mm. if you go to the dollar store before a movie and buy a box of dots or whatever for <laughs> like, <laughs> but get a Snickers <laughs> or whatever. I feel like, you know, I do that almost every time I go grocery shopping. So it's not, a, they're not as special to me when I go <laughs> trick or treating. So, you know, I'm not, I'm not buying, hmm. I'm buying boxes of dots and flavored Tootsie Rolls in July, you know? 
So they have like a special place in my heart for Halloween candy. Um, Chelsea, we'll start with you on this one. Respect your opinion. Uh, Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) That's all. That's all. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. Yeah. What are, what are okay. some of your What are some of your personal favorites? So I can shit all over them. Okay, that's fine. I mean, <laughs> but you'll be wrong. So, <laughs> I mean, yeah, I've already stated like I absolutely love chocolate. I live and breathe chocolate. Like, seriously, it's a bad day in my life if I don't have a piece of chocolate. So I wait, wait, chocolate. wait, wait, wait. You eat chocolate every day? Yeah, pretty much. Heck yes. All right, hold on. We gotta take a let's we gotta I, diverge here a little bit. What is your chocolate that you're eating every day? Is it like a Hershey Kiss, or are you like, you know, a tub well, of ice cream with chocolate in it? Like, what are we? What's going on here? Oh, it's no, it's not ice cream every day. No, it's like, you know, we'll rotate out candy because Amy also loves chocolate too. So, like right now we have M and M's. So you know, like maybe have a, you know, a couple M and M's, a handful here and there. So we have like regular M and M's and mint M and M's right now. But you guys, do you I guys mean, have a candy anything. jar? You have a candy jar that just like sits out on the coffee table. No, we have a basket that we put all our candy in the pantry. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yep. It sounds Don't like jealousy these... to me. I mean, it sounds like jealousy to me. Hey, hey, no, yeah. it's, I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to get you know. I'm just peer into the life of chelsea here you know i'm just trying to you know yeah. build a scene in my it's head it's chocolate <laughs> yep it's made of chocolate it's a chocolate basket <laughs> but no filled so with i'd say <laughs> yeah i mean that's like pretty much like the only candy i like to eat the only candy i you know i've really looked forward to like even trick-or-treating and stuff like i would eat some of the other like non-chocolate stuff but chocolate was where it's at and chocolate brings me joy no matter what time of year it is so I'd say one of my favorites is Kit Kat. Ooh, I like Kit Kat. Mm-hmm. I, I like I trying all of the uh, the cool Japanese Kit Kats. Yeah. Oh. So it was one uh, of my. Actually, having said that, um, just last night I had a graham cracker Kit Kat, like graham cracker flavored mm-hmm. Kit Kat, and also yeah. a um, it was pe- peach something, peach something Kit Kat, and I'll tell you that peach one was freaking amazing yeah my in my old intriguing. in my old job uh one of my co-workers he would go to uh vietnam like every year and he would bring back a bunch of like a uh, bunch of candy and he brought back uh like kit kats that were uh like green tea oh i love the green mm. tea ones mm-hmm. those are those, yeah. so good love the green tea chelsea back to the back to the, the chocolate ones back to the, back to the <laughs> chocolate Let's, okay. I wanna, so you want to know wanna, another one? No, I want to. I want to. I want to take this another way. Oh. What are what's since you okay. love chocolate? What is some of the chocolate that you just that you hate that you just skip on? Um, I'd say probably like Baby Roots. Do Baby Roots even have? Yeah. Oh wait, no, I'm thinking of Paydays. Do they have chocolate? Wait, yeah, no, yeah, yeah no, Paydays. Payday, no, Baby Roots, but... basically the same thing. Well, Baby Roots, like, there's barely any chocolate on those. Like, yeah. And I would say <laughs> Three Musketeers, like... <laughs> getting cheated here. <laughs> yeah, no, for real. Like, it's not worth it. Um, Three Musketeers, yeah, like, they barely have any chocolate, and it's just, like, all fluff. Also, I had a lot of those last year after I got all that stuff from all well, the Mars candy. There was lots of Three Musketeers in there, so... so I mean, definitely gave away a lot of Three Musketeers, so... Didn't necessarily eat all the candy we got, but we ate a lot of it. <laughs> What about some of the like uh, like more obscure chocolate bars, like not your like typical like Twix and Snickers and you know none of the not, not none of the big guys, but what are some of the more like middling, middle ground uh, chocolate bars? Well, I'd say one would be Mars bars because I don't think that they're not really commonly found in the U.S. anymore. Like they yeah. used to be big, but um, I fell in love with those when I went to Spain in high school, and oh, nice. that was like my snack. <laughs> snack <laughs> <laughs> on our like bus rides as we were traveling around spain yeah everyone's t- you know so. trying out spanish cuisine you're eating mars bars <laughs> yeah i don't like seafood so <laughs> <laughs> nice <laughs> i would probably be that person too to be honest <laughs> <laughs> i always I'd liked have, uh yeah. do you ever have a zero bar it's white chocolate or like white chocolate fudge oh. Those are interesting, that's for sure. 
Yeah, those I like are zero mm. bars. You gotta eat them cold though, like not in the freezer cold because you're gonna lose a tooth. But just get a zero <laughs> bar and put it in the refrigerator for like an hour and then eat it. It's a thousand times better. Mm. If you just buy it off the shelf and eat it, it's it's a horrible experience. You gotta you gotta have that you gotta have that white chocolate be a little cold. Last it tastes better. Lasts longer. I don't like white chocolate that much. You don't like uh what about like the Hershey's like cookies and cream? You don't like that? No, I don't like that at all. Oh, oh I, I like those. That. Those are good. That's not those. real chocolate. That's not <laughs> real chocolate. That's white chocolate. <laughs> nice. Mm. What about uh one of my personal favorites is like the hundred grand bars. Do you like those? Ooh, yes. Yeah, I love I do. grand. Those are great. That's an underrated chocolate bar right there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Definitely. When I was right. little, they always came across as like, oh, these are supposed to be like healthy bars, healthy candy bars. <laughs> and I was like, gross. But then I actually finally tried one. I was like, oh, these are really good. <laughs> They've been tricking <laughs> me all these years. No <laughs> Wade, what about some of your, uh, your personal favorites? Um, so I actually kind of went back and forth. I have some chocolate on here and I, and I have some like, like sweet stuff on here too. Um, I have Blow Pops and Tootsie Pops. I kept those on my best list. Um, yeah, I love Blow Pops. Milky Ways, although really Milky That's Ways are kind of tied with Reese's, I think. Like, Ooh, either yes. are fine. Um, yeah. Um, but I also really like Laffy. I always I always liked get, getting Laffy Taffy. Yeah, I like Laffy Taffy. Uh. <laughs> Isn't that the one that came with like a joke nope, in it? Sorry. Like a riddle or something? <laughs> Yeah. yeah 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 see there's there's something to do you know they're they're selling an experience <laughs> yes that doesn't make it better <laughs> i'm not getting any riddles or you know crosswords in these chocolate bars you know i don't care you can do other things while eating chocolate like watching a movie whatever <laughs> playing games you know yeah that's what i gotta do with these whole chocolate bar if i get a whole one that's watch a movie because it takes me that long to eat one so <laughs> oh dang i'd be done in like five seconds <laughs> like the opening credits aren't even done you're like oh for you finished three of these <laughs> yeah very accurate <laughs> i'm with you wade i'm a big uh big in the suckers i know we talked about it earlier but i love blow pops more i like blow pops over tootsie pops i just like having like the little gum at the oh end. yeah oh those are always preferred for sure but i'd take a yeah. tootsie pop yeah i like tootsie pop if i had to rank them it's definitely like blow pop tootsie and then like the dum-dums or whatever or are, what are those like really cheap suckers that have like uh, they're like whistles after you finish them or whatever? They're like smaller than dum dums. Oh, but, like, oh my god! You know yeah. what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah, like, this, the Holy stick is cow. like plastic and not paper, and you just like it's like a whistle. <laughs> yeah, I know. I I completely oh, yeah. forgot about that. Yeah. Wow. I can't man. remember what they're called, but yeah, they're like really <laughs> tiny. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're talking about. Yeah. What what else what else Wade what else you got? Um, I think that was about it for my best list. Well, I'm with you. I got blow pops on mine. I already said I like dots and flavored tootsie rolls. Um, runts, I really like runts. I like runts. Um, the only the only chocolate things I have on here, and they're not like chocolate bars, but they have like I guess kind of chocolate adjacent. Were uh, when I would get Rolos or uh, Sixlets. Ooh, Rolos, yes. Sixlets, no, not so much. I always like getting the little Rolo's fun size. Rolos no for me. <laughs> you don't like Rolos? No. That's literally just like, a, it's basically just like uh, taking a Milky Way and dicing it up into little circles. <laughs> so. But it's a lot chewier and stuff, and it's not as enjoyable, in my opinion, as a Milky Way. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, boy. See, I'm and I like six very lists, particular but... with my candy. Yeah, apparently, jeez. I like the I like the fun size of sixlets because it's just it's real small. There's like six, you know, four, five, six in there instead of like the the full size one because that's that's too much. But just like a little tiny one, you know, you grab it, you just suck them all out at once, keep going. Like sixlets is a perfect <laughs> tease candy while you're digging for something else in your trick or treat. You <laughs> it's know? a good warm up. <laughs> it's a good warm up. Yeah, you know, you sit there slurping down some sixlets while you're like digging around for something good. You know. I'll give it a warm-up candy. Yeah, it's a good warm-up candy. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much... Uh, I mean, I know there's others. There's so much candy out there. It's 
ridiculous. We could probably spend a whole other hour just d- diving <laughs> deep into into candy. Um, oh yeah. I'll end on another kind of. I kind of just thought of this. What you guys, Wade, you brought it up. You said Reese's. I'm not a huge fan of Reese's. Um, I'm not really a huge fan of peanut butter and chocolate together. It's Get fine. Out of here. It's. <laughs> This isn't like a contrarian take or anything, but like, it's definitely not my, uh, my go-to of like the, like the big five popular candy. Like, I feel like it's too rich. It's too much. I feel like by the time I finish those two Reese's, I'm just like, well, I have like a, I like Reese's pieces, but a Reese's cup, especially like the big cups, like that's just too much, (laughs) too much. The shapes are the better ones. I like yeah, the I mean, like, of them. Yeah. yeah, see, that's, yeah. The same reason why I don't like, like, whole candy bars and, like, I've, anything that I eat and I feel kind of sick or full afterwards is, like, the opposite of what I want for my Halloween candy. Like, <laughs> I want, like, stuff that's, like, empty calories so I can just keep shoveling this <laughs> shit down for hours while I'm watching cartoons or whatever. Once, as soon as I eat a Reese's I mean, cup, I'm just like, chocolate. Ugh. Try it. I, feel, <laughs> I, I like I getting the... <laughs> I like getting their their Reese's Easter bunnies, so I can just kind of like gnaw on it. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, just like sit there good. with like the ears, <laughs> like just stick the ears in my mouth and like I <laughs> <laughs> like a dog on a bone. <laughs> you bring up okay, you bring up an in, talking about uh, this is I guess we're jumping ahead to Easter here, but do you guys like the do you guys like the the uh, bunnies that are like a solid piece of chocolate or do you like the yes. ones that are hollow um i like the solid ones because i, mean, I feel like which it's, one i like like i like the solid ones because i feel like the the hollow ones are like cheap I'm like i didn't mm-hmm. pay for this entertainment hollow piece of crap like <laughs> i want the freaking chocolate <laughs> yep. man my my Heck thought yes. is i like i'm sure there's like bunch of different like brands and types of easter bunnies and stuff but usually when i would always get an easter bunny that was solid i felt like the chocolate tasted worse or it almost tasted like baker's chocolate where it wasn't like sweet at all i just felt like i was eating a brick of chocolate that was just it wasn't like i don't know if it was was it sweet enough not enough milk to sugar to fat ratio or whatever but anytime (laughs) i'd get a hollow bunny it just was like really smooth melt in your mouth uh chocolate I think it was the brand you had. I'm sorry, yeah. Ethan. You didn't get to, the full experience of enjoying oh, yeah. those solid bunnies. I always, I always go for the good stuff for like Easter. Um, oh yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, listeners, feel free to send me the good stuff, and I will, I'll tweet out my <laughs> yes. re- my responses, no, uh, my reviews. No, you're getting, you're not getting an Easter bunny for 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 uh, Easter. You're getting like the chocolate crucifixes, um, so you can fix your your candy habits. <laughs> should gonna, i eat it upside down or we're, how does this we're gonna work? Send, send you to chocolate jesus and um, chocolate Je- is chocolate he hollow jesus. or solid <laughs> i don't think i need to answer that question i think you know <laughs> and that's why you're going to see him so. we'll save that for the theology candy podcast <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh yes um, and on life, that note <laughs> it's the lifesaver yep. bibles for me <laughs> There you go, listeners. That's some uh, food for thought right there. Is Candy Jesus hollow or solid? Send us your responses. (laughs) (laughs) I will start a war over this. (laughs) Other people can do it, so can I. (laughs) Chelsea, Chelsea, (laughs) Chelsea. She's like, turn off the mic, turn off the mic. She's like, all right, yeah, she's already stopped recording like five minutes ago. Yep, we're out. She's like, I'm done. She's already put her headset down left. Sometimes well, I don't blame her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I, I, I'm surprised she's stuck around for 19 episodes at this point. <laughs> I love you guys. Yay! Aww. And on that sweet note, we'll uh, we'll end it. Boom! Uh, <laughs> you can do better than that. <laughs> We'll save that for we'll save that for the grand finale at the end of the month. <laughs> the really spooky episodes. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna wrap it up, guys. Um, 
thanks for listening to our uh, our sugar rush here, talking about all kinds of uh, candies throughout all kinds of different categories and whatnot. Um, if you guys have any of your favorite candies or your least favorite candies that we didn't mention, you know, feel free to throw that stuff up on our uh, on our social, or you can you know email us at our uh, email demasteredpodcast at gmail dot com. Um, you know, go ahead and check out our uh, our social presence on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook at Pod Demastered. Um, and also, like, uh, feel free to you know review the episode or review the podcast or send us any kind of feedback. Um, we'd love to hear from you guys, and we really appreciate you listening or continuing to listen. Or if you're a new listener, welcome. It's a lot of shenanigans like this uh, every week. We usually upset Chelsea by the end of every episode so <laughs> if, you enjoy, if you enjoy that you'll love this podcast <laughs> and uh, and just you know thanks for listening and we will uh, you'll hear from us next week